Folks, don't try this at home. Eugene and Spencer are trying to get their neighbor's car back on the road. Now it looks like they sprung a leak. Shut it off. It's got a water leak. What? This is ridiculous, Gene. I think it's coming from this right here. Oh, and that's not the hose, that's the gasket. A gasket is a leak-proof seal between two pieces of machinery. If a radiator gasket starts leaking, that could be real trouble because the car needs water and coolant to keep the engine from overheating. The gasket's leaking, and it's just losing fluid all over the engine. You want to make a gasket? Yeah, we're going to have to. With a worn-out gasket, Eugene's on the prowl for anything he can find to make a new one. Check it out. Use the back off of that to make it wet. Well, Spencer and I have to make a new gasket, and of course I don't want to have to run down and get one, so we're going to use the back out of a notebook. It is a perfect thing to use for that. I think we should use some of our pine tar on there. The cardboard should work to replace the gasket since it's the right thickness. Eugene waterproofs it with pine tar. All right, let's try to start this thing up again, see if it runs. Spencer's turning the key, but this car is dead as a mayfly in December. And we got one last real good kick out of that battery, and that was all she was doing. Something's going on with the electricity. Oh, if we had it running, we could take one of the battery cables off and see if it was the alternator, but we can't really test it. But I think the alternator's bad on this thing. If it's the alternator, that's going to be 100 bucks. It looks like the alternator's bad, and unfortunately, we can't make one of those out of a bunch of acorns and twigs. Working on a car all day wasn't what I set out to do this morning, but we can't leave a project half done, and you got to love Mavis. So we've got to see it through. It'd be nice to help her out, but I mean, we don't have the money to go come up with that, especially when we're not working making knives. A car's electrical system is powered by the battery when the engine is off. Once started, the alternator powers the electrical system and recharges the battery. I don't have the money to buy a new one or a used one, but we got to get one. So Spencer and I are going to load up. We're going to go to the junkyard. And we're going to see if we can make a trade for one. What are we gonna do for you? We'd like to go pull some parts, look for some stuff in your yard. Just uh, come back up and see me when you're done. All right. The fellows grab a few tools from the back so they can pry out the alternator if they find a good one. What we need to do is find a vehicle that's about the same year as the one she's got. Oh, we're looking for an 87. It has to have the same bolt pattern and it has to have the same plugs so that I can plug her wiring into the alternator. Without those two things, it's not gonna work. Look, there's a Capri right here. This is about the right year, but, oh, shoot. See, this isn't going to work at all because this is a serpentine belt. We need a V-belt. A serpentine belt is one that winds through the engine, powering several different devices at once. Mavis's car uses a V-belt, which only drives the alternator and is named after its shape. All of these cars are way too old for what we're looking for. None of these old junkers have an alternator that would fit Mavis's car. Oh, wait, look at that right there. Oh, that Bronco, too. Yeah. It's the right year. Hey, it's a V-belt. Is it really? Yep. All right, let's take it. We finally found a nice little truck. It's like the ancestor of the modern SUV. And it's got an alternator, and we think that it's going to work fine. 